Hey, how are you? I'm Slice of Otaku, and with this video today, I want to talk to you about some Steven Universe leaks. So, if you watch Steven Universe spoiler free and you do not want any spoilers, please leave this video now because it's not for you. Because we're just going to be talking about the new leaks that came out just the other day on my birthday. So, yeah. All right, so this leak originated on Instagram and it pertains to Lapis, and it actually came from Lapis's. Portuguese voice actress correct me if I'm wrong but uh yeah so Lapis is singing this new song and the new song is presumably escapism I haven't really heard escapism enough times to know if it is it but I'm just gonna assume it is and I guess that sort of dismisses all of the theories that escapism isn't actually sung by Lapis which I have no problem with I think that it should be Lapis's I think that this is a very pivotal point for Lapis because as a lot of you know, I'm not the biggest Lapis fan, but I feel as though this could be taking her character in a, you know, the right direction. Could be rerouting her to resolve a lot of the internal conflicts within herself and just overcome and become a better person because of it. Now we will definitely get to how this is logically happening, how this scene is being logically depicted, but um, I just wanted to talk about what we have here. So we have Peridot who assumedly had her hand on her chin and was feeling down or whatever on the beach and is being comforted by the crystal gems. And as you know, like Peridot became a crystal gem. She considers herself to be a crystal gem, unlike Lapis. And you know, the crystal gems are essentially her earth family. They were with her before Lapis turned over a new leaf and became barn mates with her. So they're here comforting her in her time of need where she had a bad breakup and they're here for her. And I think that's great. And I like that Peridot's feelings aren't just simply resolved because we had the whole back to the kindergarten episode. This is a healing process and does take a lot of time to, you know, resolve. Um, that's one thing Steven Universe does right. When it comes to feelings, they'll take a while to, you know, fix them, repair the damage, unlike with going places or dealing with anything crucial to the canon and the plot and the lore and stuff but when it comes down to feelings they do execute it in a very interesting manner where they do take time sometimes it's overbearing but you know it, it makes it feel grounded it adds to that whole relatability which a lot of people gravitate to the show for in the first place but yeah when the crystal gems come and sit down it does actually make peridot smile which you know, it makes me smile because I love Peridot. Um, but Lapis, <laughs> Lapis is not smiling. Lapis is very much saddened. Um, it's a very interesting thing. Okay, so let's talk about how this logically is happening. So apparently it seems as though that orb, which we've seen on every moon base, all two of them, uh, allows Lapis to survey the planet in a sense, but a very precise survey so it's a hologram it's a holographic projection around them i'm assuming um it, it, it's very i don't know because this is i've never personally theorized about the orb itself but there have been many theories as to what the orb could possibly be and i personally haven't because there isn't really any supporting evidence prior to this there was nothing that was saying what it actually does it was just fan fiction and i don't really do fan fiction theories i kind of have to base it in some sort of logic for me to feel adequate with it um but yeah so apparently it seems as though this is the purpose of it and i'm questioning if this is just something that lapis can do with it because um when it came to same old world lapis was able to project project um the past with a mirror but this is the present so this is this something she can do with the orb or is that just the general purpose of the orb and if so i'm wondering why like i i'm trying to figure out how this would work in terms of being in homeworld's hands this is a predicament i find myself in with a lot of gem artifacts and i do like that we are going back to gem artifacts and i consider this a gem artifact Although, at this point, we know it to be gem technology, all gem artifacts to be that. But for me, it's a different classification because it's more, let's say, supernatural and less technical. Um, but yeah, this orb, in the hands of the diamonds, in the hands of Homeworld, if it were to be used during the war, 
how would they not know where the Crystal Gems base is, their base of operations? Because that's something they interrogated Lapis for by putting her in the mirror. So with this orb, it seems as though you would have to know exactly where you want to be, where you want to see, or rather. Um, and in that case, how do you know Peridot's outside at that point? Like, are you just stalking her with this thing? It, it's just... I need to know more before I deliver a final verdict, which is, which is what I said with a lot of stuff in Lars of the Stars, which ended up being mm, unfavorable. So once again, I'm putting my faith in the Crooniverse. I am giving it the, the benefit of the doubt, and I am hoping that this makes sense, because when it comes to gem artifacts, I'd hope that it would make sense in the hands of Homeworld, unlike the whole time travel doohickey, which is just... You know, time travel, don't touch it. Please don't touch it, it's weird. Um, but yeah, Lapis is watching Peridot. Um, I don't think she's watching the Crystal Gems because she doesn't really care for them, uh, which is another thing that I would like to see resolved. You know, I don't think that Lapis's issues are just rooted in Peridot here. I think that she has a lot to overcome when it comes to, you know, involving herself in another war, potentially involving herself in another war and becoming a Crystal Gem. Considering herself a crystal gem, not just getting the star and all that um, symbolism, but actually feeling it. Actually, not just being a resident on Earth, a drifter or whatever she considers herself to be, but loving the planet and loving the faults that come with it, which <laughs> evidently is the potential for a war. And it turns out that Stephen is behind her. Now, that's really interesting to me. And it says that Steven is not with the Crystal Gems right now, once again. And I think that goes to show that Season 5 is going to be remembered as the Steven Show. I mean, actually, all the seasons are like that. Pretty much every episode, except for the one episode we received, um, Jungle Moon, which didn't have any Steven the first time ever. Um, but yeah, I, I think that Season 5 is going to be remembered as Steven goes on his lone adventure. Steven goes off on his own here and there. I mean, he doesn't stay anywhere for too long, which I feel a certain way about, but he does go off without the Crystal Gems a lot this season. And seemingly, if this is in season five, which I'm gonna assume it is, I'm hoping it is actually, um, it goes to show that Steven is just, you know, going off on his own again and again and again. And he's wearing a hoodie. So time passage, you know, is this fall? Is he, you know, moving towards winter where we'd, he'd have his coat? I think that they do that periodically with the show. I I don't remember the last time he's worn this hoodie. So, you know, maybe you guys know. But I do think it's interesting that he is wearing his hoodie. And is this our moon base? Like, the Earth moon base? Is this, once again, Jungle Moon? Which I feel weird about. Like, why are you going back there? Or is this an entirely different moon base? And I, I feel as though it's not going to be Jungle Moon. Because if it is Jungle Moon again, I think that he would go with another crystal gem you know to talk to them about it or something like that but he's going off by himself again and the only way steven's gonna get into space by himself is through lars so is he interacting with lars again um because at the end of jungle moon lars says you guys gotta go back into my head back to earth so lars isn't necessarily making it back to earth all too soon so you know another lars interaction i, I i'm very intrigued as to steven's placement here i think that that's very important um and it, i like once again it, it's it's just drawing back to previous things the same same as how peridot confides within the crystal gems and their her earth family steven is lapis's earth family you know she he's the person that she turned to first and foremost she's the, he's a person that she trusted so for him to come and comfort her is also nice to me so i am looking forward to this episode i'm not gonna say i'm hype just yet but i am looking forward to this episode because of the future implications it could lead to what is going to happen with lapis is this her turning point is this singular episode going to be enough to you know change her or is it going to be like back to the kindergarten where this is a work in progress, where this is just Lapis getting her feelings completely out and then we take another step in which we deal with them? Or hey, is something major, big and crazy gonna happen on Earth 
while Steven and Lapis are together where they have to intervene and that becomes the end of the season finale type thing, you know, like, I feel like that would be pretty great. Pretty cool to see Lapis put in a, you know, life or death situation where it's Peridot and the Crystal Gems, like, they're at stake here. Are you going to leap into action now that you see them in peril or are you just gonna sit back and, you know, be by yourself? I think that that would be the perfect confliction for this character and it would either tell us that she is going to elevate, she's going to change or she's going to be the same. And that is really important to me because I don't want to dislike this character. Once again, I do not hate Lathis, but I, I, I don't really like her character all that much um, as much as I would hope to or I should on paper. But yeah, what do you guys think about all this? Um, I also want to know, I almost forgot, um, it kind of fades out the projection of what Lapis is seeing on Beach City. Um, so that makes me think that this is a old moon base, which I guess is a given because Homeworld isn't there to, you know, stop her in her tracks. So is Lapis just on the moon, like our moon? That would be interesting. Why Steven went back to that moon particularly interesting when he's been there twice already once again just a whole lot of mumbo jumbo i'm just gonna assume that this is a different moon that we have not been to so we're becoming steven universe like omniverse or something where it's like ben 10 <laughs> i don't i don't know what's going on with this show but i'm hoping that it is in a good direction that i can feel happy about but yeah, guys, leave me your thoughts on everything. I'm sure that a lot more people are interested in leaks these days because of how long we go without Steven Universe. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, my take on it. I'm sure you saw other people's takes. Um, yeah, just let me know how you feel. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.